Hey guys, Lex here with another fragrance video. So this is the next one in the queue. This is Chiruti Image from the House of Chiruti and this was released in 1998. Yeah, I'm aware my hair's pretty wet. I have soaked my head like 20 times. It is a roasting, I'm not going to say it's a heat wave, but it's so hot in Scotland. I don't know how many lambs were sacrificed to the gods, but Jesus. So, um, <laughs> Damn, this will be empty in like two seconds. So, I really had to will myself to actually do this video. I was like, it's so damn hot, but fuck it. So, Chewity Image, the notes here, and I'm using Fragrantica as my source. The top notes are plum, banana, leaf, oh sorry, plum, banana, leaf, pear and pepper. Middle notes are cypress, fig leaf, jasmine and guayac wood. Please tell me I said that right because I'd be so fucking, I'd be so happy. Base notes are sandalwood, amber, patchouli, tahitian, vetiver, musk and cedar. So, um, quite a complex scent, not too complex, not like, um, say, old school powerhouse like Laptis event like that, but it's actually um, really good. So, I made the mistake of wearing Alvahab on a hot summer's day, choco musk, because I'm badass. So, I had to put this in my arm here. I was a move on, I, like I said, I didn't plan to do a view and I just thought, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Uh, take a break from the old game design and work on this. So, I'm going to start on the bottle design here. Let me just adjust the camera. Adjust the camera. What am I thinking? So, here we go. We have Chewity Image ingrained in the glass. It's really nice. We have this random writing here, which looks kind of cool. Reminds me a bit of uh, L'Occitane, a little bit, that sort of style. We have our information, well, some information that you can barely see on the sticker there 100ml, blah, blah, blah. Nothing on the back, and you have an awesome atomizer. Now, if you have a look here, this atomizer that is the actual atomizer in there, and this presses down on it, and it's really, really elegant and cool. I'm gonna give a bottle design at least an 8 out of 10 just for this. I've really seen this thing before, it's kind of old school um, France thing going on. So, how does it actually spray? Let's have a look. Spray was really nice. Um, it's like a sort of, you know, like a pulley system, that does all the hard work for you, so it sprays like full time all the time. It's always like, pfft, because all the hard work, the pressure's been done by this. Nice spray up, feels good, feels sort of soft, it's not too hard, quite nice. Now, I believe this scent was, cost me like 7 quid. I think it was like 7 quid. Um, around a 10 I believe, but 7 quid I think this was in Morrison's for 100ml. So, I snapped it up, and this is one of the first scents I got after I got Boss. I got one million and I get this. This is my third cent I bought. Ugh. My throat is going dry as a damn bone. Ugh, it's too hot. And I'm in the attic, so in an attic room and the heat heat travels up, so. Ugh. So how's this one smell? It's got a it's got a sort of alcoholic opening, but really, really fresh, sexy. And it, like I mentioned about that next fragrance, this is the same sort of thing. I think that's probably why I liked that so much, it reminded me of this. But this has a, it's again 1998, so it's it's an old school scent. It's got that sort of fresh, lovely pear, fruity pear vibe in there. The pepper, you can pick up. The pepper reminds me a little bit of Oscar for Men. And it's fresh, that peppery vibe. Imagine Oscar for Men with a bit of fruitier pear vibe in there. This is sort of what this is. A less aggressive a less masculine Oscar for men. Almost on the feminine side. Almost on the feminine side. But not quite Oscar for men. And that's this. Fruitier, but the pepper vibe still in there. It's fresh, it's sexy, but it's still macho. It's not, you know, it's but almost kind of feminine because that freshness. But again, the macho part is still in there. It's really nice for the price. This blows my mind. Damn nice smell. So how does this one perform? This is my only thing. This is like La Nuit. Um, this thing smells fantastic. Unfortunately, it doesn't perform too well. I get around, I'd say, six hours longevity, and I get about arm's length projection for about an hour at most on me. Uh, so, every time I've worn it, I wish I get more projection with it. Longevity is not too bad, but it just doesn't project very well. I, for about an hour, it's about arm's length. Maybe an hour and a half, two hours really pushing it, but I mean, I've, I don't, I've never encountered that. You might get it, skin chemistry and all, maybe even olfactory fatigue, but I've never, no one's been able to smell this or anything on me. Which is a shame, because I really do wish this lasted a bit longer, because it is a gorgeous smell. Again, it's not too heavy, great for lighter, hotter weather. I have worn this in hot summer weather, you know, it really smells like something from Miami Vice, Crockett would wear, linen blazer. 
um, Rolex watch. That's what it smells like. It smells really damn classy. Has that whole Miami Vice vibe thing going on. Macho, but sexy and chic. With a bit of a feminine side, you know? Embracing their feelings like Crockett does. Every show. <laughs> um, so, I talked about performance. Let's talk about age group. What age can you wear this one? I'm going to say this is suitable for someone in their late teens to early 20s, um, if I'm honest. And it goes up from there. You can wear this from that age. You can wear this at, um, at 60. You'll be fine. Um, late teens, it's not too young, not quite high schooly, but it's still nice, you know. And if you like fresh scents or you're a yoke wearer or something, you want something different, this is a great thing. And I had a really good 1 million boss bottles and this was a great mix of three different scents. You know, they all suited their different things. That was when I first started years ago. So, yeah, years ago. Jesus, I started in 2013. That's three years. God, it's almost four years in a couple of months and six or months or so down. So, yeah, really nice. Um, now... How many sprays with this one? Because of the performance, I am going to recommend six sprays average. You want to overdo it, maybe push it to eight or even ten if you're a badass. And um, that even there wouldn't even qualify as badass. Um, really, I don't. I think six sprays average, and then adjust for the weather and situation and stuff. So more sprays if you want a bit extra boost, you find it's not working, less sprays if it's really hot and it's super strong on you, if you're really lucky, I wish it was you, you probably have a bigger penis than me, uh, no that's, that's not possible, um, <laughs> so yeah let's move on, shall we, season wise where can you wear this, can you wear this in spring, yes, can you wear this in summer, yes, can you wear this in autumn, yes, can you wear this in winter, yes, so smell wise this is perfect for any season, the only thing with this is the performance, this is better for hotter weather, my experience it performed better in hotter weather as well, cold weather, autumn, winter, when it's windy, rainy, snowy, this will just be gone in about 20 minutes, you'll put this on, you'll walk along to the train station or the bus or whatever, You'll get there, you'll wait about 5, maybe even 10 minutes to the train if you're early like me, and by the time you get in the train, it'll be gone. And that's a true life story that actually happened to me when I wore this on a cold day to college. Um, yeah, I went to college, believe it or not, you wouldn't even think it, I'm a punk. But yeah, I went to college, what a surprise. <laughs> I was going to go to university afterwards, but I told him to go fuck yourself, because the guy was an asshole. But anyway, enough with my life story. <laughs> God. It's like, I speak with Papa Lex. Kumbaya, my lord. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, all seasons it's fine, but the performance may suffer in the colder weather. So, situation-wise, where can you wear this? Can you wear this to work? Excellent for work, if, especially in an office environment. Like I said, clean. Um, you know, it's got a lovely, clean, classy vibe. If you work in an office environment, you know, um, white-collar worker, shut, tie, shoes, smart trousers, this is perfect for that. Goes with the whole clean, sharp image. I've worn this to interviews. I know a lot of people say you shouldn't wear a scent, but if you did wear a scent, this is an excellent interview scent. Quite there. Really, really good. Can you wear this for a date? Yes. In fact, this is really good for a date because the performance isn't amazing, but again, you're going to be sitting, if you like, say you're at a restaurant or even at the cinema or going to walk on a date, you're going to be close to the person most of the time, unless it's a forced date and they're an asshole and you're just after one thing. Not that I'd ever do that. <clears throat> God, I miss my ex. <laughs> but anyway, um, for a date, this is really good. It's not too strong. It's sexy. It's still masculine. It's clean. And again, with the whole hygiene thing, it smells clean. And you want a guy with good hygiene. Like I said, the opposite of me. A guy doesn't have an untrimmed beard with a hole in the middle. Damn, Jesus. I'm a fucking mess. Look at my hair. Damn, I shouldn't even be doing these videos. Fuck me. Beauty bloggers are like, who the fuck's this guy? <laughs> um, but yeah, really good for that situation. Moving on, can you wear this clubbing? Smell wise, yes, but for clubs, not the best option, it isn't that strong. It will be getting drowned out by guys wearing your Yope, Lamal, One Million, Black Excess, etc. Only reason I don't recommend it for clubs is the performance, same as the cold weather. Moving on, can you wear this casually? Yes, this is great for casual. Like I said, versatility wise, this is great. Can we wear it with a suit? Can we wear it with a tracksuit? Fine for casual wear, fine for McDonald's, fine for watching hentai, fine for playing paw games. Fine for tapping your foot saying hurry the fuck up with an off fragrance story update Lex. Um, I'm working, give me a break. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. But um, yeah, really good for that. So moving on, can you wear this formally? You've got a suit and tie, you've got your Hugo Boss suit, it's your wedding anniversary, you're accepting your best smelling fly guy ever award, you're attending the YouTube ceremony for YouTube Red because you're a fucking sellout. Yeah. <laughs> Never going to happen to me, I tell you that. Um, but really, um, for a suit, really, really good. Again, you might want to do that a few more sprays. It's not going to smell cheap, it's not going to overpower anyone, it's not going to smell obnoxious, it's a really nice versatile scent and it just smells like a gentleman. It smells like James Bond. This smells more like what James Bond would smell like than the actual James Bond scent, which I reviewed and I said was pretty damn nice. Wasn't amazing, but it was nice, it smelled clean like James Bond would, and this is the eyes. James Bond, Daniel Craig, Piers Brosnan, that's the sort of thing. I think of when I smell this, really nice. So yeah guys, this Chewity image, a cheapy, a damn gem that you can pick up. And um, if I just quickly, before I go, I know it's running a bit long, we'd quickly Google Chewity image buy, just see how much it costs. Because I think this was seven quid when I got it. Amazon.co.uk. Oh, that's a lot more expensive. 21 pounds 23, 9.99 for the 50 mils, my apologies. So, £21.23 on Amazon. Still a damn good price. You could probably find it cheaper elsewhere, maybe. Um, but yeah, for the price, definitely check it out. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, any questions you have on this scent, leave them in the comments below. Send me a YouTube message. If you're lucky enough to not have a Google Plus account, not only am I jealous of you, but you can contact me on Facebook. And as always, the golden rule, guys. You should know this by now. Come on. I I'm sick of having to remind you guys. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Keep on smelling fly.